All right, hello. Um, housekeeping to start off. I know how I said last video that starting next week I was going to do all the videos at once and this week was going to be normal. However, life happens and I'm not going to be able to record things normally like I do through the week. So I'm recording today's video and Friday's in sequential order in sequence, one right after the other. I'm doing them both on a Tuesday. So apologies. Um, life happens. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take a sip and let's get this going. Um, if you guys had plans or anything to send me something to do for Friday sometime before then in the next couple of days, I'm sorry. I'll get to it next week. Um, but yeah, I felt like I should at least pump these out while I've got time. Um, so let's continue. Sorry for wasting a minute and 13 seconds. Let's go. I've decided to do a different uh, theme here. Something called A Diverse World with Skylines. Um, it just said in progress when I was searching for it. It did not actually say anything as far as like rules or anything but i think i'm going to allow myself to click this button three times in any direction to if if i'm allowed to i mean i don't know anything about how this is actually set up but that's the rule i'm going to impose on myself maybe i should have done less than that but here we are um yeah so I'm 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 in a bit of a rush. I've been like half debating, being like, all right, how much should I bother with as far as like saying what the what what's going on? But um, why can't I ever find the actual number to these things? I'm never actually gonna find any of these things. Gamong, Gammon Dong. Like I doubt I will. Um, but. Without getting into too much, just know that, hey, cancer does suck. And it's weird. Uh, I'm pretty much just going to... It's it Busan. As much as I probably Babylon without any real um, sense of purpose or direction with any of these things, um, today's going to be no different. Um, but, oh, yep, 22. So I think... This is probably where we are. Uh, I'm just going to click like right here and just be done with it for now and spend the next two minutes, if you'll indulge me, babbling on. I'll, I'll take this off so you can at least maybe see a cool view of some place in South Korea, Busan. Like, that's where that train is. Um, yeah, it's a weird thing when um, you actually sit and think of something like cancer in an, in an abstract concept like um it's it's essentially just cells that are like nah, i ain't gonna listen to you i'm just gonna do whatever i want and you know in a vacuum completely unrelated to anything else it's kind of how a lot of stories are structured that like no man you should always go against the status quo don't always if 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 you don't buy into something you know be your own person individuality stuff like that it doesn't really apply much when you take it to cancer i mean i'm looking at this as a complete abstract and in in actual like practice and functionality not like yeah, cancer is a bad thing um but just by itself you're like yeah and if there's any story based off of what it is it probably would be what a lot of movies are about, you know, kind of like cheering on the underdog, overcoming immense obstacles like the actual functioning purpose of a cell. I mean, like, no, it's time for you to stop functioning, you know, instead of doing its own thing and then in turn just destroying the person or animal or whatever it is that's actually living in it just for their own selfish needs. Um, and it was weird too. I mean, it's always one of those things when they talk about um, 
if you have like a certain type of car, you drive it around the road. You don't really notice how many other people have that car until you're actually in it. And that kind of was the same thing with uh, this week's video of Kurtz Gazat that came out. Don't know if you guys watched that. I think I mentioned it before. They talk about uh, cancer and having to do with like some sort of paradox with the larger an animal is, the uh, you would think, I guess in theory, the larger they are, the more cancer they should have, but it actually turns out not to be the case. Um, is this China? I mean, yes, and you look to be posing, although I know you're not. Now, I'm going to get this one completely wrong, just because it's fucking China. And this actually is a Vista, and I'm not actually going to get um, to move around, so I will not be able to click three times. <laughs> I think in the entirety of me actually playing GeoGuessr, I might have had less than five Chinese locations in all the videos I've done, including this one. It just doesn't happen all that often. And the quality of these photos, or at least, at least the quality of the photos on a website that has to pay, you know, uh, data fees and whatnot for people to use their site, is not that high if you want to super zoom in on things. Um, I'm going to have to make a guess here. I'm going to get the... It, it's, I think it's on the coast. Now the problem is... What is... Then we got Burberry. Uh, it's a shopping mall plaza thing. This is a cool little fountain thing. Like, I don't... I'm, I can't read. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that's Mandarin. I don't even know. Very gilded lamp posts, a lot of light bulbs. Makes me think big important city. How many big important cities are in China? A lot. This could even be Hong Kong. This could be uh, Macau. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think all of China is in. Uh, Google Maps. I think it's only certain selections. And if I was smart and safe, I would say this is Hong Kong. So I think I will. And just click like right there, somewhere in the middle there. And just be done with it. Um, any other dumb babbly things I wanted to talk about? I don't think so. How's your week been? I mean, it only being Tuesday. Not much going on just yet. Um, it's the first real nice day of the year. I mean, I, I have this philosophy whenever it comes to March that the second it's March 1st, all snow must leave. I mean, I love winter. I want snow all the time during winter, but as soon as it hits March 1st, I want it all gone so I can golf. I need to golf. It's, it's, it's what I like doing. If I'm not actually out there, uh, hiking or hiking in the snow, although I didn't get to do that as much this year as I wanted to. And by this year, I mean the first two months of the year. Um, I still like doing it. I mean, last month, I tried a couple of times to hike certain mountain things, but I guess locations I went to with a combination of the snow and the weather when I did it was a little too warm. Didn't have my snowshoes or a really good idea to where the trail was because... Um, I don't know if, how it is in other parts of the world, but I know at least with the trail that I go on, they they have markers for what they are. Like, uh, say, I think it's the Long Trail actually has a, uh, at least in my state, is painted white. Or it's blue. I'm getting confused. But either way, the trail that I was on is painted white. And uh, trying to actually hike a trail you're completely unfamiliar with, being the first like the section that you're going to, um, having really no idea where it is, and very little, if not none at all. Oh yeah, Beijing. It was either or. Um, not having any idea at all about where the trail goes, and combined with the fact that it's all in white, uh, makes it very hard to see the actual, um, the 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 words words the trail. Did not think that far ahead when they were painting these those trails, but eh, what are you gonna do? This place 
Uh, well, I have an idea of the section of the world. Now, the problem is, is this Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, or is it like Qatar, or is it Bahrain? Is it Dubai? Like, I'm going to say it's Dubai. I mean, I don't, I, I'm not going to get it right. I mean, this is another like little photosphere here. I don't know the actual like, oh, we do have flags. That's Canada. Without seeing this actually unfurl a little bit more, that could be Saudi Arabia's flag. <clears throat> I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, we do have something something hotel. Doesn't help me. Well, I know that means stop. Like a, a guy rowing, a guy in a gondola leaning forward is um, Sanskrit for stop. I think that's what that, 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 that language is on that stop sign. Hmm. This is a fancy building with another fountain in front of it. I am not going to find really any more information that's going to help me here. A lot of... It's a Ford, and it's probably a Mercedes. That's a Ford. Come on, can I gleam anything? Not with this resolution. Well, there's a Hummer. That's a truck? Weird looking truck, it looks like. I don't know. I need to keep taking a drink. My jaw is going to be dying before the end of this video. And I have still one more to do after this. Um, anything else? I mean, I do love uh, spring in the sense that disc golf. I mean, that's it's my enjoyable thing to do. I've 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 said that sentence so many times now, but I just know because how it always works, at least where I where I live, the uh, month of March usually is when it all melts, and sometimes by the beginning of April, I can actually play around. But then invariably by the middle of April, there always tends to be a uh, giant snowstorm that postpones my ability to golf for another three weeks. Boo-hoo me. Yes, I know. But it's the perils of living in the northeast of the United States. Um, but what are you going to do except just deal with it? I have run into a bit of an issue as far as it goes. Um, I guess hobbies. Like I picked up a couple of things the past couple of years, along with this as being one of them. And now I'm finally getting to the point of actually finding enough time for everything, adequate enough time. Like all the painting that I've been doing for the past year and a half, two years now, is kind of like falling off as far as like how much I do it. And I guess that's kind of just the natural phase of things. When you're just dabbling in a bunch of stuff, you eventually phase out of stuff, but the, the, the amount of stuff I've invested in the sense of like actually making things and like making space for them as I look around this room, it, it's substantial enough. And I feel like I've invested enough time now that actually being able to, oh yeah, Queso okay, was in Saudi Arabia. It was a, uh, you saw what I was working with. I thought I thought I did pretty well for all things considered there. Okay, I've been here actually. I know I know where this is now. It's a matter of actually me being able to find it is a completely different thing. I've been to this building before. So uh this is the um is it in Count Tainan? Man, I'm gonna forget exactly where this is. I think it's Chikan Tower. If I can get like super close. No, that's the Dutch colonial fort. I'm going to click here just for now, but I know that it's. Oh, what was the city? Was it here? <clears throat> it's, I think it's the Tai Taiwan tower. I believe is what it's called. 91 or 71 stories tall. Uh, you take a really cool, um, Speed elevator to the top, and they have this lady. Maybe it's in Kaohsiung. They have this lady like narrate it, and she 
does that thing of I say it so much that I'm like done with it. She says it in her sleep, basically. It's it, it's how you how it feels. Eighty five sky chat. No, it's not this. It's it's this is gonna drive me nuts trying to find exactly where it is. Cao Chung. When did I go see this? Let's look in Tai Chung. Don't think it's here. Hanji Night Market. I went there. That place was great. They had some all these bridges here, if I remember right, are actually um, named after like different animals for their horoscopes, or it was animals for each year, like year of the horse, mouse, rat. I think it's the year of the rat now. Is it in Taipei? Taipei Tower, isn't it? Man, this is going to drive me nuts. The second it actually pops up and it shows me exactly where it is. Went all the way to the top of it. It was great. Man, I'm, I'm going to be so mad when I get this wrong. But this thing is cool. Like, we went to the top. Super foggy at that day. And I couldn't really see anything. I did click at least a place, right? Okay, I did. I don't think it's Chikon Tower, but I'm just I'm just sticking with it. Is it another place that it could be? I mean, I'm explaining everything that like I've been here. I went to it. There's a bunch. It's a mall underneath it. It was uh, real fun. So I'm uh, man. I almost feel like pop pulling up another web page and looking for it because I feel I've earned enough <laughs> extra credit for proving the fact that I've been here but also you can argue it's like how the fuck do you not remember you were here but what can I say I was kind of like brought around the island it wasn't so much that I found it all myself so there I, I do have that like excuse in a sense it was cool because also at the top of this thing there is a uh, giant like counterweight it's like a huge ball that's uh, suspended by a bunch of cables on different corners of the ball as corners of a ball can have and whenever there's like a lot of wind it counterbalances it from keeping the tower from falling over thought it was type a god damn it Nope, control W. Yep, Taipei 100. See, there it is. I couldn't remember. But take my word for it. It's an awesome place to go see. Will very much recommend it. Very cool. All right. This, I think. Is uh, Japan, uh, China again? But I don't think I'm. I'm gonna. I I actually can move around. So one. Plaza three three six. Hmm. We do have a language I can't read. So I can hit two. So around the bend here, I think. Okay, we do have a church. This almost looks colonial, clearly. Um, but there is very little in the way of English on anything. Three. That's all I get. Actually, no, I went this way. This one? So I can hit one more time. All right. This is all I get. Now I have to make a decision. I don't know. I mean, I think this is, I'm gonna say Hong Kong again, just, just to say, just because of that one church. 
I mean, that did look, I mean, at home. Where did I see that? I'm gonna hit this button. Two. Yeah, there's the church. I feel that this might be either Hong Kong or Macau. Now, I'm just going to have to deal with what we got here. Be fine with it. Uh, I need to say my, my mouth jaw kind of hurts a bit. If I put my glasses on, that might help. Oh, everything is so much more def defined. Oh, wait. There is a crossing guard here. Doesn't help me. I still feel this is China. Or at least very close to China. I'm going to leave it here. Um, continue updating as far as how this week and next week will go. It, yeah, I'm going to be doing everything at once. If you have any suggestions for maps that you wanted to give me, if I don't get to them that week, I can always get to them next. You know, <clears throat> neither of us are going anywhere. Is this a thumbs up? Are you pregnant lady? Maybe? Are you an astronaut? Tian Zhang? Tian Zhang. Maybe that's the name of the... Chiang Chan? No, Chiang Zhang. If we switch those around, that would be that. Just looking real quick for a Tian. I'm probably not going to see it in time. Tai Taiwan. Tai Yuan, I believe. Tang Shang. Tianjin. Oh, we are in Shanghai. Wait a minute. No, that was I don't think that's a, another word for Shanghai. Either way. Didn't do bad. Interesting map. I, I will like it for the work in progress that it is. I uh, hope you guys liked it too. Um... That's going to do it for our video today. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, anything at all, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. Uh, your Wednesday's done. You have one more day to go, and then the weekend's going to be upon you. Go enjoy your middle week, and uh, come touch back with me for uh, Friday when we kick off the weekend and have a great time. I'm going to try to. I hope you do too. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you here real soon. In fact, sooner than you think, it's not a threat. It's just a way of saying goodbye. I don't know. See you later.